Dr. Stella Flores, and I'm an associate professor at New York University. Our collaboration was with the Western Interstate Commission for Higher Education, WICHE, and ASH. Some of the challenges in having academic research influence state public policy has to do with the translation of our work. It is often a little too tedious, a little too formulaic, and basically too complex in a way that isn't easily accessible to audiences. So we know this, but is a policy brief enough? No, it takes more than that. And what we discovered in this collaboration is that often are the incentive structures of how to bring research to policymakers occur in a different way between academics and intermediary organizations. So part of that means us trying to get the journal article out before we get a policy brief article out. In the meantime, legislatures are meeting and they need the research now and don't have time to wait for the randomized experience to come out. So this diverse group of scholars as well as policy intermediaries came together first at the ASH conference um, of 2015 and identified issues that were relevant between policymakers and academics. We then met over a series of conference calls and finally had meetings in Colorado at WICHE where we came together to identify a strategy, working plan, and publication to present to our audiences on what we thought were the issues relevant for state level agenda on access and equity, as well as lessons learned. So this joint collaboration came up with four important lessons, I think, um, are critical in conveying not only to our own audiences, but also to our graduate students. And the first lesson is to make rigorous research accessible, but beyond accessible, responsive to state policymakers. That is, get in the game early and understand what is important to policymakers so that that can also frame and design part of our research agenda. That way we're able to ask the questions that we want to as academics, but also questions that might be helpful to state policymakers as they think through the issues that will be present in upcoming legislation. The second lesson has to do with adjusting to the extent possible our own professional norms. So we're not going to be able to change the tenure system in ways that only target effective public policy. But we will be able to train our own graduate students to understand that with that journal article you should probably write a policy brief and be in collaboration and conversations with state policymakers. At the same time, we hope that intermediary organizations are able to take into account that the research design is evolving and that what was considered effective or responsive five years ago might be very different now. So how do we adjust our own norms to come to a meeting at a pathway where we can be more effective in public policy? Third has to do with creating sustainable partnerships. This was a wonderful experience in which we all learned from each other, both challenging and exciting, but at the same time, how do we keep moving this forward? This is something that needs to keep happening over the next 10, 20 years so that we don't lose sight of how research can keep informing public policy, but also the demands of public policy and how our own research question can come into line with how policy and those movements are changing in the future. The last lesson has to do with a coordinated communication strategy. That means once the research is out, how do we ensure that these organizations get the research and keep translating it over um, to people who make decisions? And lessons one, two, and three build into how number four can be not only reproduced but also sustained.